The U.S. Patent Office canceled the Washington Redskins trademark uh, registrations, which have protected one of the most valuable sports brands in the world since 1967. The move bringing a controversial word back into the spotlight. The question, is it racism? Well, one school mascot here in the Inland Northwest is the Redskins, and John Hendricks went to Wellpin at High School on the Spokane Indian Reservation for reaction there. And, John, what'd you find out? Nadine, there has been a push to get the mascot changed at the high school, but last night the school board got together and decided it's a change they won't be pursuing. About an hour northwest of Spokane sits the city of Wilpennant, a high school finding itself with a decision. Do you change your mascot from Redskins? It's a proud name, and any school that uses Redskins as their mascot makes me feel proud. It makes me feel like they think we're strong people. I don't think it is a, a word of pride. Um, it was used derogatory years ago when uh, it was the Wild West. Those who have lived in this community for decades say the mascot has been a part of the town since 1907. James Williams, a school board member for the last eight years, says a majority of those he talks to don't want to see it change. Something that they've been brought up with all their life, and uh, you know, I don't think they. They don't look at it as very being uh, derogatory. He says the term has been the focus of a few meetings. They've decided it needs to stay. When we decided last night that we weren't going to change it. We're talking to a lot of the community members, the majority of the community members don't want it changed. Williams adds there's too much pride in being a mighty redskin, and he wouldn't want to be the one to take that away. I think it would be more demeaning to them if we made him change it. In fact, I wouldn't even want to be on the board if we tried to make him change the name uh, Redskins. For now, the well at Redskins will remain the only school in Washington still using it. Today, the Seattle Times posted a story on their website saying in their sports reporting, they will no longer use the term Redskins. Williams told me he doesn't think that's going to work for that paper. John Hendricks, KXLY 4 News.